What made you want to get into comedy? Like, how soon did you want to go down that path? Were you a kid? Were you when always into it? When I was a kid, it? I did a lot of dramatic acting. I was in a movie called The Woodsman. With, that was the first thing I ever did with Kevin Bacon, where he plays a pedophile. Yeah, I think I've like seen that. Really heavy. What role did you play in that? Uh, like a victim of abuse. So okay. naturally, Not I comedy. segued into comedy. Wow. <laughs> it's a seamless one. Um, no, but I was like... Dark. Definitely per- a nonlinear progression there. Totally. Well, I think I realized how much I love, like, performing, but I realized over the years doing like Second City and Groundlings and these different schools, how much I love having my hands in other elements of the creative process. And I feel like comedy just came a little pretty naturally to me in that like regard. So I still love both, but I just, I love comedy so much. So it kind of felt like the world was pulling me in that direction with online stuff. And so I was like, okay, this is, this is what I'm going to do. And was it like stand up that you would try your comedy? Like what, did you just try it at home? What was like, you the know, thing? it's, I've done all, all the things, but I would say online was always like the most traction on, you know, Vine and Instagram and now TikTok, I guess. And all my shows, I would host like variety type shows. So they would have stand-ups, but then I would be able to do, you know, I'd have a stand-up and then I would do like every mother in a horror movie and the lights would change and I would do this whole weird character thing where I'd be like, Billy, or, you know, yeah. whatever. So Your impressions. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I just, I would just love, I like. Wait, like what? Like weird observational comedy or I'll do like, and now a Dutch chef is going to come teach you a recipe and I would come on as a Dutch chef. I mean, like it definitely didn't That's make hilarious. me the cool girl in comedy, sure. but I was like, I got to be authentic to me. And this was all in LA here in LA or were you somewhere LA? else? I mean, all over. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I brought a show to Edinburgh a couple years ago or right before the pandemic, the summer before the pandemic, that was like a character driven comedy show about Disney princesses. That was really raunchy and, and edgy. And it was like an adult comedy about like the cackles coming we out. We played She's like, like the, right there. you know, the ketamined up parents we played the kids we played the princesses we played the woke balloon artists like it was this really immersive (laughs) fun weird show and I kind of like that immersive element I think that's why I like the internet is it feels like like recently I did a who is she series where I just asked people to tell me what this person was in a wig and then I did my 10 favorites I got like hundreds of responses and it was so fun because it was like this interactive kind of way of doing comedy yeah so fascinating it was also like a respite from everything and I weirdly had a lot more career traction that year because I think I got to like pause and be like what do I want to do and got to test for a lot of cool projects and start developing my own thing and so Yeah, I feel like it actually is sometimes a good thing to take a break and get quiet with yourself and go. I mean, ideally, it wasn't that sort of break. Yeah, but it was a it was a good. I think it was a good time because I think sometimes you're moving so fast and you're like, what am I even working towards? So I think it was a good time to pause and be like, oh, I know exactly what I'm working. 